All right, welcome back to GM Mode Sunday. I think that's what this is. It's our main event. It's Batista taking on Randy Orton in a singles match, and we are playing that right now. Who are we going to be? It looks like we are being the animal Batista. Now, remember, in the feud these guys have had, Batista got the upper hand. He beat Randy Orton in a backstage brawl. And then Randy Orton the next week was able to take down Batista. Now they're fighting off. They're squaring off in a hardcore match, the main event, to close out SmackDown. Now, both of these guys looking possibly for a title opportunity, and that's what we were talking about. Either one of these guys could potentially go on to challenge Undertaker or Stone Cold for that title. Could this be the stepping stone they need? Either one of these guys, whoever comes away victorious, are they in line? for a future WWE Championship match. It'll be very, very interesting to see as Randy Orton taking on Batista here tonight. Kelly Kelly, goddamn. Oh, man. I miss Kelly Kelly. Oh, man. That loading screen is so much better than main event on Ion Television. Oh, here we go. Hardcore match. There's weapons littered around the ring. Randy Orton versus Batista. These guys looking to get physical here. They have uh, quite the rivalry, quite the tension they have had. Batista and Randy Orton were both part of the faction Evolution. They've had a falling out ever since Evolution has came crashing down. Randy Orton looking to end Batista. He wants to take Batista out. Batista, same way with Randy Orton. The cockiness, the brashness of Randy Orton, Batista has a problem with. And going for that chair shot to the head of Randy Orton. Too many of these chair shots in this match is going to be over already. I don't know how much damage Randy can take. Another, no, it, I thought he had a chair shot, but Batista took the chair away. Now he hits him with another chair shot. Batista already got this match locked down from the start, as you guys can see. Coming out here trying to prove a point against Randy Orton with those chair shots, those vicious, those vile chair shots. Now Batista's got steel steps. Oh, no, Batista dropping the steel steps. Big shot on the ring post. Randy Orton sending Batista's head careening off the steel post. Now taking a chair shot of his own. Oh, man. These guys, everything they've got, they're delivering to each other right now. The vicious shots with the weapons. Oh, man. Randy Orton trying to choke out Batista. He's trying to choke him out. The referee can't do anything to stop it. Let's go, Batista. Looks like Batista was about ready to pass out there as Randy trying to take a step back. Getting out of the way of Batista who came running in. Now Randy looking to steal one. Randy trying to steal one on the outside, but it does not matter. You have to pin your opponent in the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, I guess it is falls count anywhere. It does not matter where you pin your opponent. Excuse me. I was not aware this was a falls count anywhere match. As Batista once again picking up those steel steps, waiting for Randy Orton. Gonna hit Randy with the steel steps in the face, but Randy taking him away. Now he gets hit face first with those steel steps. Those steel steps to the face of Batista taking him out. Another shot. Look at those steel steps. That's got to be it. How much more damage can he take as he's got him up top? Batista trying to fight out of it. Randy Orton's got him on his shoulders. Batista up top. DDT right next to the steel steps. A low blow from Randy, though. Oh, man. Randy Orton, this dirty son of a bitch. Randy with a low blow on Batista. He has hit a low blow on Batista. Oh, man, that has got to be it. Go for the pin. Oh, now Randy's just taunting Batista. Batista. Oh, oh wow. It looks like the referee, Nick Patrick, has been frozen. I, 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 I would be shocked and uh, not sure what to do, too, if Randy... In this no DQ match, going below the belt, playing dirty, trying to end Batista. That's exactly what he's trying to do, as you guys can see the camera shifting as Randy holding those steel steps with a malicious intent. He's looking to just beat him, to batter him, to bruise Batista. More shots with those steel steps. Batista, he's got to figure out a way to get up, to get out of the way of these shots. Another, this is just getting vicious and brutal. Batista is just getting battered with those steel steps. Is Randy now looking to take off the turnbuckle cover? Randy Orton has taken off the turnbuckle cover. Batista has got to be very wary and careful of that. 
Oh, man. Now Batista, he's pissed. He's taken off the table. That table is now exposed. Batista looking for a weapon under the ring. Looks like he's found... Wow. Barbed wire on a stick. Big shot to Randy. Now it's Batista's turn to unload on Randy. Batista's picking up Randy Orton. Big side slam on Randy Orton. Batista possibly calling for the end right here. Batista, this could be it. Batista's looking to finish him off. Batista, center of the ring. Batista bomb. Randy's head hits the steel steps. It's over. One, two. No, Randy unable to. Randy kicks out at two from a Batista bomb. It looked like Randy's head careened off the steel steps. Batista, though. You can see Batista is just wrenching this in. Trying to keep Randy Orton down, but Randy Orton reversing it, getting out of the way. Oh, man, those steel steps. That shot. Another low blow. Randy. Randy, you can't do this. Not like this. You can't win like this. Randy Orton with another low blow. A second one to Batista. How many of these can he take? Now Batista with a reversal. Running STO. Batista going for the pin. No, Batista's not done with him. Batista wants more. He wants to finish off Randy. Oh, Randy gets out of the way. How smart was that to get out of the way to avoid that one? As Batista and Randy Orton still on the outside. Another, a third low blow to Batista. Randy Orton is doing everything he possibly can to win this match. Where's Batista going? Batista, Randy, you can see how tired they are. They're holding their bodies. They're absolutely exhausted. Batista trying to fire up a little bit. Trying to get a little bit of momentum as Randy now in pursuit of him. Oh, Batista looking to take advantage while Randy was getting out of the ring, but he's able to fight him off. A big shot to the back of Randy Orton. Another shot to the back of Randy Orton. Uh-oh, Batista setting up for something big. Randy Orton on the outside to the back. He's got those steel steps. He's going to nail Randy, but Randy gets out of the way. Randy can't get out of the way of that one. You can see the damage. Look at his head, his face. They are absolutely destroying each other here on Friday Night SmackDown. Both of these guys trying to prove they are the alpha male. Who is potentially the next WWE champion? Will it be one of these guys after the heart and determination I've seen tonight? I don't know who else you'd want to have representing your company. As Randy gets hit with a spear by Batista. Batista with a spear. Oh no, Randy Orton once again getting distracted. He went for those steel steps one too many times. His head hits the steel steps. It is over. Randy Orton is bloodied. He's battered. He's bruised. Three count. Randy Orton takes advantage. Randy went for the steps one too many times. He went to end Batista. He was looking for that shot to the head, but Batista went low, speared him. Brought him to the ground and then hit a Batista bomb. His head creams off of the steel steps. Batista tonight. Look at Randy. He's having a seizure. Way to go, Batista. Very, very big moment for him here in the WWE. What's next? It's currently 2-1. Does Randy have anything left in the tank going into SummerSlam? Does Batista have all the momentum? Will he be the one to face Undertaker or Stone Cold Steve Austin? It'll be very, very interesting to see if he has what it takes. Because after that match, I think he put himself on the map for a future WWE Championship match. I don't know what more you want out of a superstar. Those guys absolutely brought it and showed it here tonight. CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy for the Cruiserweight title. We're going to go ahead and simulate this one and see what the result is in three. Two, one. Jeff Hardy is your new intercontinental 
no, excuse me, cruiserweight champion. So last week after Matt and Jeff Hardy picked up victories over CM Punk and John Cena, Jeff Hardy getting that momentum going into SummerSlam, stealing the title away from CM Punk. Matt Hardy taking on John Cena in a submission match. Who's going to win this one? Matt Hardy once again comes out on top of John Cena, and I'm being told that he hit an STF on John Cena, made him tap out to his own move. Way to go. Big momentum for Matt Hardy here. And finally, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Undertaker in a parking lot brawl. Stone Cold Steve Austin beating Undertaker as we have to go to Monday Night Raw. And let's read WWE.com's report here. As we head over here, what did WWE.com have to say this week? Match of the week went to SmackDown superstar Jeff Hardy, who came out with a victory. We gained 140,000 fans. It pulled in a 4.5 rating, the highest of the week. So huge job to Jeff Hardy and CM Punk. You see the fan support going through the roof, 4.3 million fans. Let's take a look at our financials. We're sitting good with money. We pull in 753,000 live attendance. No promotional or uh, contract termination money. Power 25, cruiserweight Jeff Hardy shoots to the top. Toby Emu, look at that. He falls from grace from number two to three. Stone Cold Steve Austin getting the boost he needed after beating The Rock. And Randy Orton falling four spots after losing to Batista. And Batista not even in the top ten yet. He's all the way at number 17. He gained five spots as well. And King Booker and Mark Henry putting themselves on the map. Mark Henry... Great job for the power rankings. Let's go ahead and make sure to save this one. Hit that save button. And let's go back and check out the ratings from last week's show. We had Monday Night Raw. Let's see. They gained a three and a half star. Nothing too exciting for them. ECW with a three star. And finally, Friday Night SmackDown pulling in only a three and a half star rating. King Booker and Mick Foley. Oh, wait a minute. That's the previous week's show. We want this one. What am I doing? Three-star rating. So, Kali, Mickey, and JTG lose to Sabu. That is the main event over on ECW. Raw with a four-star. Not sure how they get a four-star when their main event is a three-and-a-half, but whatever. It is what it is. And then finally, SmackDown. Four-and-a-half-star match between Stone Cold and Undertaker. Four-star between Matt and John Cena. Jeff Hardy and Sam Punk pulling in four-and-a-half. Four-star rating for these guys and four-star match for the main event. So, way to go to SmackDown. As we make it back to the next week, let's take a look one more time at our rivalry sheet. You can see we all have one thumbs up fan reaction so far. Not much. I, I was kind of hoping we get into two, but hey, it is what it is. See everything we've got going on. Look at our roster. Who do we need to give some popularity to? Let's see. Who else is in a feud that needs some uh, boosting right now? King Booker and Mark Henry and Batista. So each one of those guys, King Henry... Booker T and Batista. So let's go in and do a trophy date for each one of these guys. Batista can get one. Give him an eight. Come on, give Batista an eight. That's what I'm talking about, an eight. All right, how about one more trophy date for King Booker? Come on, Book. All right, he got a plus five. And then Batista, last but not least, for Mark Henry. There we go. They're getting up in popularity. And uh, that'll pretty much do it for this episode, as you guys can see now. All of these guys are in the 90s that are in a feud right now. That'll do great for our ratings, hopefully. And hopefully we don't lose anybody. I think all our contracts are good for quite a while still. Uh, four weeks. Ric Flair might be coming up in a month. But right now, everybody else is set. Show's going good, guys. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name is Tubby Emu. I'm going to go ahead and hit save one more time. And until next time, we will see you guys later.